by coming at you with another reactionary video. So hit that like, subscribe, become part of the team. I'll tell you a lot. This channel is for my community. Specifically, the underserved within my community, young black male youth, absent the mask. A absence of masculinity around. You know, maybe your dad ain't around. Maybe you ain't got no OG uncles. You need guidance and advice. You, you, you need to be sat down and learn something, younger. So come on to the front of the class and let me learn you something, young. Yeah, I saw these clips on Worldstar, and I was going to do my own thing. Well, shout out Pink Book Lesson. This is not the first time. And it probably ain't going to be the last time I react to a video. So y'all go subscribe to her channel because she always make great content. You know, she's a a, a, a male, I ain't going to say defender, but she, you know, get her perspective, you know, in a very neutral way. Women won't believe that because, you know, if you hear her, she very crit critical of everybody. But the truth about how Travis Hunter was about to destroy his life, I was thinking the same thing. Like everybody saw the clip, and we about to see it on this video on how his girl behaved when the camera showed him after he blew all the team on national television. I'm like, bro, why is she acting like that? Like I can't stand. You know what? I'm gonna play the clip before I start. I can't stand. It. I can't stand a woman that, like, a kill your vibe anytime, anywhere. It don't matter. Like, we can't wait till we get home for this. We got to do this now? Like, right now? Let's get to the video, bro, because it was two clips, and she got both of them in here on work. So I was like, bro, where your dad at? What is your mama saying? Is your mama I ain't telling you nothing, bro? Because millions upon millions upon millions of people can see where this is headed. Oh my. Right, let's get to it. Serious talk. Yes, Travis Hunter. Now, Travis, I'm only going to tell you what the real people in your life already told you. Or Yeah, they already told you. Like, you got an uncle somewhere, uh... Or daddy, I should have Googled with his daddy around, cause you know, I was like, his daddy in jail, his, he raised by a single mother. Like somebody need to tell it, like bro, bro. And I understand, a lot of you athletes like to get these exotical looking women and think they ain't ratchet, or they they gon' down me no good. Like you know, I don't give a damn. What the wrapping paper look like? If it's a pile of turds in the box, it don't matter. If it's a light skin wrapping paper or a dark skin wrapping, you got turd inside. At least hint it to you, but you're so far under the spell of Jezebel, nobody can tell you nothing right now. All I gotta say is I'm gonna tell you one time, and I ain't gonna tell you no more in my Birdman voice. I ain't gonna say it no more. I ain't gonna say it no nah, more. Nah, but for real. Travis Hunter is in some serious Say, bro, just looking at this picture as an OG on, what would I tell my nephew? Nephew, keep your eyes peeled, youngin. And I, when y'all hear this stuff that Pink Book Glass is about to spit to y'all, I want y'all to reverse genders. Y'all like to do that. Y'all like to change people's genders all the time. Uh, imagine this was the woman. I mean, imagine this was the man in college going after a high school student with potential. He's grooming. He grooming, huh? He grooming. What's wrong with him? He, he a jester. But when women do it, Girl's investment. It's trouble, and he don't even know it. What I'm about to then the weirdest part about it. Nah, he did that with Jack. He was winning with Jackson State. 
Travis Hunter was with Deion Sanders. What is Deion teaching him? Did you see how he skedaddled at midfield when his ex-wife was approaching him? So what is he Britain? He brought Brittany Winter to y'all at Jackson State to learn y'all something about these girls out here targeting you. Guess you didn't. I guess you skipped that class to go catch a couple more balls off the jug machine. Like, he brought Brittany Renner specifically for the, like, listen, bro. Listen, y'all young men out here. Don't let these girls trap you. I tell Travis is worth more than any Tesla he can buy, any truck, any shoes, any house. And as much as I support Coach Prime, what I'm about to tell Travis is even more important than any gameplay. You see, what would it matter if you won trophies, if you're the best college football player, if you got drafted to the NFL for millions and became an eight or nine figure earner, if at the end of the day, you're only gonna be left broken destitute. Yeah, you already know where I'm going with this. And I'm not about to sugar. Again. I'm going to say something that y'all probably ain't agree with. I know y'all dudes, these athletes, these young dudes get caught up in these exotical women. But my boy, I know this your fiance, but she a six at best. I always had the potential to see, like, at home beauty. Like, man, King, how you keep girls that look good when they ain't got no makeup on? Because I... When I see them out, I can see, okay, that's how she look every day. Like, yeah, she look cute, but man, watch this video on certain angles, that little throat and that nose. I'm like, ugh, 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 ugh. Don't catch me one moment when your breath wolfing. Ugh. I wake up, and I, ugh. That nose is poking me in my eye, in my eye. Oh, nothing. Travis, that girl you're with is going to cost you everything. Everything. Yeah. If you don't make the right moves right now, that hell is going to cost you everything you work for. And your mom and daddy should be on your head right now, especially your mama, because she already know what's up. That girl is a problem. And I'm about to get into it. But I talked about Oklahoma State versus Colorado already. It was like Oklahoma didn't even show. See, see, this is the video of Dion Skidalli with his problematic ex-wife. They gave him buku kids. You know, you would have think. She wouldn't been a problem. Shh. Show up. The score was 52 to zip. But what everybody's talking about is a. Fact, these two, you know, of course they hit. These two kids right here are Deion Sanders and his ex, toxic wife. Two kids they had together. They got like four, five kids together drama surrounding the game instead of the game itself first everybody was joking about how coach prime walked out his sons shadur and shiloh as the seniors were celebrated on senior day their mom pilar another washed up thought bucket she wanted to get some of that shine as soon as she walked up on the field she greeted them and coach prime with the other way you had some folks saying no he wasn't running from pilar he had to go walk out jimmy horn jr and i already explained to you that's not really what happened if you want the truth on that make sure you watch the video after this one the link is below but obviously Travis Hunter got a young 2024 Pilar right now and he don't even know it. Travis Hunter and his fiance made it into the social media streets when this- I'm saying for a normal dude like me, she might be a six and a half. But bro, do you not understand your potential right now? Like if y'all just think I'm being surface level, but when you continue this video and you see like how controlling she is, how it's so many things adding up on that con. You know, I weigh things on pros and cons scale. It's too many negative things adding up on that con section. But uh, let's continue. This clip went around right here. Yeah, we have Lynn, you got the best man in football, girl. Give that man some keys. Why is she upset? After the game, of course. And that's what I mean. Like, any time, any place, anywhere. It's like, we can't wait till we get home and discuss this. Nah, you got to be toxic right now at a family barbecue. Oh, you didn't bring me no pork 
chop sandwich like I asked. Well, baby, they ran out. Well, if you would have quit when I told you to. I want a back night. Bro, this, 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 let's continue. Of course, Travis Hunter is a star, so as always, he had a bunch of cameras in his face. He went to hug and kiss his fiance, and this is what everybody saw. She was obviously unhappy about something. Now, rumors started swirling around that she was mad at him because during the game, the Oklahoma cheerleaders on the sideline had some sort of non-verbal, non-physical interaction with Travis. This right here. Can I get shifted with a young fella? Oh, now that boy go right to the cheerleaders. Oh, nah, it looks like he's looking at them. He's probably not looking at them. Oh, nah, he looked like he getting rizzy, but he probably not. His wife ain't gonna like that. It's really nothing, but word is, that's what his fiance was mad about. Sports fans started responding to this, telling Travis he better get a prenup. They told him his fiance was a problem and basically warned him about what we've all witnessed over and over between these athletes and the bummy Jezebel leeches around them. Bummy so Jezebel instead of enjoying leeches. their big win, Travis was running his own PR campaign on IG. He dumped all these pictures and videos. Of Queen, what, what, the, what the comment saying? We all know why you posting her right now. <laughs> you tripping, dog? He was a fifty-two nut, and he was, and couldn't get a kiss. Facts. She just not the one brother. Oh, she just not the one brother. Well, you will see eventually. I hope you don't see. But folks, you take all your goddamn money, bro. I hope you ain't jeopardize your family. Because I'm telling you, when I was 19, you 19 year old, 18 year old, you swear, this is the love of my life. Now, I'm not going to say it's not a possibility of being, that being true, but it's a high probability that this is just puppy love. Okay? I'm in love. I'm never going to fight. Wait, break up, wait about a, a, a half a year. Yeah, your young ass gonna be in love again. It's got to be more to it than love. Like in one perspective, like I got to have, he got to have finance. Nah, bro, her character got to be conducive with yours. Maybe you like a submissive dude who like a controlling woman to tell him what to do. Maybe that's what it is. We invested. Because we care about your success. Yes, we do. And grow. We want you to be great as God allows. You didn't capitalize God. You tell a person who's in the church. Allows with no distraction from anything or anyone. You had the ability to be one of the greatest to ever play this game. I don't want any of the young dogs to lose anything behind a female. It's a time and place for everything. So when we see your girl choose to have an attitude about some shit that doesn't matter, I wish I could read the rest of that. Cause them, that's all fact. About time and place. Of them, and in the caption he wrote, "Queen with a crown." Then his fiance she responded with a heart. Of course, people kept coming for him in the comments. That's when Travis told fans, stop being so invested, she good. Then this right here didn't make it any better. No, baby, <laughs> the real rules. Listen, 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 listen again. I ask y'all to switch swap genders. Now imagine if this was a man talk about my rules and making his woman recite his rules. Cause she gonna say our rules, but like peak book lesson, point out is a Freudian slip she said my rules my rules since y'all think we fucking beef at a fucking game <laughs> baby you go rule number one oh. rule number one what's the rules we have in a relationship rule number one always talk in private if we have a problem with something yeah. Yeah. But she didn't do that on national TV. You in the you in a football stadium or maybe I don't know what how many people Colorado Stadium see because I'm from Louisiana. Our shit see the hundred thousand, maybe forty. You in somewhere where forty thousand people that ain't nowhere near private. 
for you to have that attitude. You supposed to take that shit home, young lady. You know what I mean? Your 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 man's got star power. His cameras all eyeballs always on him. So yo yo you yo behave you gotta be on your best behavior too. Like, ooh, I, oh, people gonna do this all. Ooh, why she gotta add to him? Yeah, yeah. Now you didn't you done drew a wedge in, in your relationship because people on the internet, I ain't gonna let this up. Every misstep you make from this point on, they're gonna be on your ass. No, it's not. That is not your only rule. I'm taking off my makeup. No, that's not our only rule. Second rule is we don't hug people of the opposite gender. Did he we don't greet people with the opposite gender. No, like, it's not it's, that. If it's like a, if it's like a, wait, say for instance, it's a waiter that's a female, Liana talks to her. And if it's a dude, if it's a male, that's a. Waiter, he talks to them. That is true, yeah. but it's only if like they're rude. Yeah. It's not like so like if a if a woman were to come up to Travis and only speak to Travis and ignore me, then it's like yeah, disrespectful. Yeah. yeah, if they come and they speak to him first and then they say to me like it's fine. Like who the fuck are you though? This man is the star. What? Like I understand. On both levels. You ain't gonna just walk by me and disrespect me, just keep in smiling my dude face. That's one thing. But another thing is, why the fuck am I speaking to you? You just his girlfriend. I wanna talk to the, the, the football star. I wanna speak to him. But like, we don't play that, okay, I'm only talking to him, I'm not talking to her, vice versa. I, oh, he's only talking to me, he's not talking to him. That's our, that's a rule in our relationship. You can go next, baby. Okay. No, that was yours or mine. You can go next, baby. Rule number three, no B word. Well, don't call each other out our name, period. Yeah, yeah. We don't call each other out of our name. It's a rule, guys. Yeah, it's a rule. Okay. My turn? The third, and are you third or fourth? The fourth rule is we don't, we don't be alone with nobody of the opposite gender. Like, I learned this from my pastor a long time ago. My pastor was married and he... I somewhat agree with this. Like, I don't be alone with no... Because it's, it's, it's problematic for a man. Like, it's, I don't... No, I don't... But when Mike Pence was saying that he don't, he don't be alone with no woman if his wife ain't there y'all clown the shit out of him but i understand the reason why a man would not want to be alone with a woman anywhere that ain't his woman it's too many problematic scenarios that can surface unless you got like a video recorder and a voice recorder on your ass at all the time and make sure your ass is safe i'm talking about the man not the woman he always said, even if he had like a girl, stop making that face. Man, if he like would have a female in the church or didn't like, or anything like needed a prayer or something, he'd pray with the door. Oh, yeah. He'd pray with the door open or like, he doesn't, he's not, he doesn't subject himself to being alone with a female. So we don't subject ourselves to being alone with anybody of the opposite sex. So that's a rule. We don't, he doesn't be alone with any female in any room. Unless like the door's open or something, and I vice versa. I don't subject myself to being alone with a man. Okay, my next rule: we my have each rule. other's passwords to everything. We don't like hide. Even if we don't like get on it, we know each other's passwords like to literally everything. Oh, You're lying. You have it in your phone. I don't know if you caught it, but at one point it slipped out. She said, "My next rule." Okay, my next rule. Travis didn't make any of this up. This girl made it up, then came to the internet like it's their rules. Nah, these are her rules. When I saw this, I was like, this girl groomed him, and now she's completely controlling him like a remote control. She's making up rules for him and got him thinking that he- And y'all think we reaching. Wait till the next clip. Wait till the next clip. 
This is just a clip they had after the, you know, the, the world saw her act like a straight jackass with him behind some petty shit. Like, bro, it is not worth the trouble, young man. I promise you. Y'all might think y'all that y'all love that woman and she fire in the bedroom. But it, that, that, like, that continuous stress is not worth it. But when you see the next clip, he was involved too. And this is why I say 21 year old rich athletes should not be getting married or getting women pregnant. It's all robbery. He's yep. paying for everything, but he's still not the leader of his relationship. She's the one bossing him around, and this is a whole no-no. I'm not with all this fluid stuff. It don't work. And I don't want to hear nothing about his 2024, blah, blah. Nah, this crap they're doing, it don't work for nobody but her. And it's going to lead to one epic destruction of this young man's life down the road. You had some people saying, well, they're high school sweethearts. Lies. Lies. He met this girl on social media when he was in high school. She was in college. He met this girl on social media. You know what? I'm going to finish. Let, the, let her speak because I've been stopping a lot. I got to get back on my grind and learn to let the video play because I just be so passionate about what I want to say. Let's continue the clip, though. Cause it's about to get to the part where I'm about to go store a time with King Dow. And why you young men should not make the mistakes you make. I told my cousin who went through the same thing. Met a girl through social media after she found out how much money he made. Like, bro, you like you up here on the internet flash, you how much money you make, how much money you make again, and all of a sudden the chick contact you on DM. You can't trust that bitch. Bro, I can't even tell you how much I was right. He was a star high school athlete. They didn't go to high school together. Yeah, she was dating him while he was in high school. So that's not a high school sweetheart. Imagine and get this, she only dated him after friend zoning him because she said that he wasn't her type. Now how do we mean, babe, bro? What you mean, honey? This big, this big goofy ass ninja who always got this old shucking and job and sambo smile on your face, ain't my type. That was how I did. So God, I don't have no problem with a dude showing his teeth and smiling because it's good to be pleasant, have a pleasant disposition. But even Magic Johnson knew not to fucking smile. And he was the most smiling person out here on the planet. Magic Johnson knew when it's time to be about business and be serious. I used to tell to my daughter about this. Stop showing me your teeth. I can't trust a nigga smile. Okay? A nigga smile is when he uncomfortable, he smiling. When he in trouble, he smiling. When it's time to be serious, he smiling. Nah, ain't nobody gonna take no nigga smile seriously. Ain't nobody gonna fucking take you seriously. You always cheesing and kicking in people's face. They gonna look at you less than. I ain't saying you gotta be around here mean dogging and mad mugging every time. You can smile when it's appropriate and take that goddamn smile off your face when it's appropriate. Are people going to start thinking you're a clown? Something to be played with. How did we meet from? I shot my son on Instagram and she dubbed me. And Look at for, them angles. I, didn't I just didn't respond to him. He wasn't my type. Let's go uh -huh. back. Let's go back. Now, how did we meet, babe? Look at that. Look at that. Mean, how did we meet, bro? I shot my son on Instagram and she dubbed me. And Ugh. for. I didn't dub. I just didn't respond to him. He wasn't my type. He wasn't my type. Uh huh. He wasn't her type until somebody told her that he was a top recruit and he could be worth millions in a few years. So then I left him. I wasn't her type. I left him in my DMs for like two months and then finally I answered him but i didn't want to like be nothing i just wanted to just be friends like we could be friends and then after i finally answered him on instagram then we texted for like a long ass long, time, a long like, time like another two months and then i was he was friend zone because i didn't like he was like in my friend zone i was like yes i was not into him <laughs> and then finally i had to go to a friend's um birthday dinner and i didn't want to go with myself so he was like, oh, I'll go with you. And then he went with me, and then we was in love. 
<laughs> yeah, we was in love ever since then. Like we hung Literally out the next the weekend. Yeah. No, that was during a week. Dude, we was in top golf. That was our first day, top golf. Yeah. And then I was, our still second in, I was still in high school. Yeah. And I had school the next day. The next day, cause we went on a <laughs> Sunday, facts. Uh, no, we didn't. Yes, we, we went. went on a Sunday. Imagine if there was a man dropping his girlfriend back off in high school the next. Bro, y'all be out y'all goddamn mind. Travis, I got a question to ask you. Did she take your virginity? Is that why you so wrapped up in this woman who clearly going to cause you trouble in the future? Like, cause I know sometimes I, that first, that first regular piece, we, we, we kind of get wrapped up in it, but bro, don't do it. Don't do it. And you had school on Monday. You had oh, school yeah, the next day. Yeah. And then I had to drive him home. I think it was past his curfew. <laughs> I didn't have no curfew. I dropped him off. Well, should we say, like, we were so close since the moment we yeah. met. Like, we were when friends. When I got in the car, she was trying to fight me and all. But I ain't even meet her yet. How you gonna fight me and ain't even meet you? Yet? But as soon as we, like, met in person, we just, like, instantly, like, yeah. chemistry. Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. we yeah. hung out. And then after the birthday party, I was at Top Golf. Then we went to Waffle House after. Mm -hmm. And, and we talked. talked. Had a good conversation. Yeah, and then we went, finally dropped him off at home. And mind you, he lived an hour from me, so it was far as <laughs> it. Hey. But yeah, that was, I used to hate driving that hour, yeah. boy. And then we just seen each other every single week every after week that, after and that. then he just moved in with me. After a while. His, <laughs> yeah, his last month of school, high school, yeah. he just moved in with me, because yeah. at that point, we were just, he was in my house every day, so there was no point in him leaving. So. Mm -hmm. She said it over and over, he wasn't her type, and then she had no problem dating a minor, which is statutory. If this was the other way around, y'all be calling Travis a PDF file. But she groomed him and even moved him into her apartment his last few months of high school because he was, quote, already at her house all the time anyway. This girl is an insecure, immature, jealous, controlling yes. narcissist. She's yes. obviously playing Travis. She groomed him and now she's controlling him to finesse him out of all his money. This is why she rushed him to propose to her and he's about to marry her. A lot of folks are saying Travis get a prenup. Nah, I'll take it further. Travis, don't marry this girl and don't have any children with her either. I still don't understand why these young guys are so eager to throw it all away. I if you have kids while you're on the road every day, you won't even be around your kids enough because you're too busy working. Meanwhile, she's plotting on you, the kids, the house, the bank account. Then one day you look up and she filed for divorce citing irreconcilable differences. She's gonna tell everybody it's because you cheated or come up with another silly reason. The next thing you know, you're being clowned on the shade room by everybody and scolded as the worst man ever because whatever excuse she made up to rob you. Then not long after she's able to run away with everything, your career will be about over and you won't be able to make any more money. That's after the city girl will run away with about 80% of everything anyway and alienate you from your kids so they won't like you either. I'm sorry, Travis is too young to navigate the situation. He don't know what he's doing and this girl about to take him for everything he's got while the other city girls cheer her on. Listen, Travis Hunter is a star, period. He's made history at Colorado by playing virtually every staff on offense and defense. On top of that, he's got a 4.0 GPA. He's never in any trouble. For the most part, it's school and football. So Travis Hunter is him, but obviously he don't know who he is. And I'll say this for the record too, because you have a lot of girls trying to run with this. That girl did not make Travis. Travis had what? parents that made him and God blessed him with talent. He also had coaches along the way that helped him win and sharpen his skills. This girl don't have nothing to do with any of it. And then that's another thing. I don't like how she's trying to get credit for him or him feeling like he's got to give her credit and shine to help out with her own self-esteem. This is crazy, but I know all y'all hard-headed. You want to learn the hard way. Travis will more than- That y'all are. Y'all hard-headed as fuck. Y'all got to learn the hard way. Just remember, we try to tell you. I admit if I'm wrong, y'all get to stay married for 50 years. Like, you know, our marriage is intended to death do us part. But I, I, I can't see it, bro. Because as you grow, Travis, this shit, I keep telling y'all, cute shit turn to insufferable shit once you grow up. Like, this little cute controlling shit right now, like, it's going to be intolerable when you grow into your manhood when you become the person that you were meant to be. Cause like that popcorn puppy love shit, you ain't gonna have no problem with paying the bills. You already tricking off your money on your girl, your fiance. But I implore you, young man, 
have a long engagement if you're going to stay with them. I implore you, don't get drafted, then marry her the next day and don't have no prenup. Come on, bro. Than likely take home the highest man this year. He's talented, he's smart, but when it comes to dealing with these 304s, a lot of these athletes are dumb as a doorknob. Everybody can see the writing on the wall except for them. Let's go ahead and get the conversation started. Another PJ Washington, Brittany Renner scenario. Don't, don't, don't have no babies with her, bro. Not yet, no way. Like I told my nephews, like, if you want to have a child, wait till you in your 30s. You a man. You can have them when you're 80. And don't have no child till you're married. And you got to be married. I used to say three years. Now it's five years. I don't even want to talk about having no baby until we've been married for five years. There's a reason why I say all that because... I have to ensure that this marriage is going to work out. First three years of marriage is is very, the first year is all banging all day, every day. But the first three years, they, they say, or statistics say, y'all have beef behind finances. Finance. So after three years of y'all making sure y'all financially stable, then y'all can bring a child into the world. That you ain't got that pressure trying to feed that baby and pay the lights and y'all arguing about finances. The reason why I say, well, now five years, you need that extra two years buffer. Like, you need that extra two years buffer just in case to make sure that this relationship gonna work out. Because I'm telling you, shit, shit switch up so fast when baby pop up, bro. like a light switch tell me what you think about this below that is today's special thing i think travis you making a huge mistake we ain't in y'all day-to-day lives and relationship but we just going by what we seen what we heard what y'all put out there on, in, into the world okay into the world y'all put out that she didn't like you at first till somebody told you who you was and what your potential was. She left you on red for months. And she dropped you off at high school and she making these controlling rules and then her attitude, she can't control her attitude. She got to express it regardless of where they at or who they is. Even though she broke her own rule, rule one. We take stuff in private. I remember that first rule. But your ass wasn't in pride when you caught that attitude. Bro, look at the big picture, okay? Look at the forest and the trees. Is this the type of woman that you want to be with for 50 years? That alone, bro, if you're a successful person, let me tell you what could, what, what, what could potentially happen. I'm gonna, I'm, no, I'm gonna say the good thing first. Potentially, y'all could be married 50 years. Or well, another thing that potentially can happen is you get her pregnant, y'all don't work out, you get upgrade a chick, and she get bitter and angry. Because her spotlight is your spotlight. She don't have no spotlight. If you leave her, you take away that spotlight. So guess what? I gotta do something. So give me some shine. Alright. You ain't gotta listen to OG the king. It's alright. You learn the hard way. Put your goddamn hand on that stove, burn yourself. Hit that like, subscribe, become part of the king.